Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard trigonometric equation. I call this non-standard because we have a trigonometric expression on the left-hand side, but the right-hand side is a polynomial. So we have sine 3x over sine x minus cosine 3x over cosine x equals x, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods. Let me tell you something. First, I recorded the video by using the second method only, and then I realized, wow, there's another method, so I should do it again. Anyways, let's start with the first method. So we have a triple angle situation here, sine of 3x. So for example, if x is 20 degrees, then 3x would be 60 degrees. What about the ratio? Can you find something fixed from that? So let's go ahead and consider the triple angle formulas. You're hopefully familiar with double angle formulas. Let me write those for you. Sine of 2x can be written as 2 sine x cosine x. And cosine of 2x can be written as cosine squared x minus sine squared x. But of course, if you replace cosine squared with 1 minus squared or sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared, you get two other formulas for cosine of 2x. Now, how do you get to 3x? Easy. For example, if you're trying to find sine of 3x, you can write it as sine of 2x plus x, and then expand it. You're going to need sine 2x and cosine 2x, as well as sine x and cosine x. Easy, right? But you got to use a formula for sine of a plus b, which is sine of a cosine b plus sine of b cosine a. This is called the sum formula for sine. Make sense? So that way you can go ahead and come up with these formulas. But I'll just give those to you. So let's see how this works out. Sine of 3x over... So let me write the formulas first before I start plugging them in. What is sine of 3x? Well, here's the thing. Sine of 3x is equal to 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. So by using the transformations of the formulas that I talked about, you can find this. What about cosine of 3x? Well, cosine of 3x is going to be kind of similar to this, but here's how it's interesting. Just flip this, write the cube first, and replace sine with cosine. So we're going to get the cosine of 3x formula. 4 cosine cubed x minus 3 sine x. By the way, let me tell you something. To get these formulas, there's another way to do it. If you just go ahead and take sine x plus i sine x, cube it by using the formula, and then setting those equal to... Okay, this the first one should be cosine, not sine x. So by using Euler's formula, you can go ahead and cube this. And this should give you by the Moivre's formula, cosine of 3x plus i times sine of 3x. And by expanding the cubic, you're going to get the four, two formulas at the same time, which is kind of interesting, right? Anyways, that's a really cool method for finding those at the same time. But let's go ahead and plug those in. I have sine of 3x over sine x minus cosine of 3x over cosine x. So let's go ahead and replace sine 3x with this and cosine 3x with it, and, le and let's see what we get from there. Sine 3x is going to be 3 sine x minus 4 cosine cubed x divided by sine x. And then replace cosine x with 4 cosine cubed x. By the way, I just... Okay. Let's start over. <laughs> All right. I shouldn't be rushing this, so let's take my time. Replace the sine, and I'm going to write it here because I have more room here. So I replace the sine 3x with 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x and then divide by sine x. And replace the cosine x with 4 cosine cubed x minus 3 cosine x and then divide it by cosine x. And this should be x because the equation tells us that, the original one, right? Great. Let's go ahead and factor out a sine x here. We get 3 minus 4 sine squared x divided by sine x minus cosine x take out 4 cosine squared x 
minus 3 and divide that by cosine x. Notice that sine x and cosine x should not be 0. Under those conditions, go ahead and cancel them out. And then from here, we get the following. 3 minus 4 sine squared x minus 4 cosine squared x plus 3 equals x. Now we can go ahead and add the 3 plus 3, which is 6, and then take out a negative 4. That's going to give us sine squared x plus cosine squared x, and that is equal to 1. Hmm, that's interesting. And we get x equals 2 from here. That kind of looks interesting, right? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I hope you'll like the second method as well. Maybe even better. So, here's my equation. Sine 3x over sine x minus cosine 3x over cosine x equals x. With the first method, we use the triple angle formulas. With the second method, we're going to do something amazing. And that is called making a common denominator. Are you not impressed? Okay, let's make a common denominator. We get sine of 3x times cosine of x minus sine of x times cosine of 3x all over sine x cosine x. Now, the top is sine a cosine b minus sine b cosine a, which is sine of a minus b or sine of 3x minus x. Refer to the formulas for sine a minus b and a plus b. Divide it by sine x cosine x equals x. This still looks pretty non-standard, but take a look. The top is sine 2x, and the bottom is sine x cosine x, and that equals x. Do you see what I see? If you do, then let's proceed. Sine 2x is a double angle formula, and it's equivalent to 2 sine x cosine x. And the bottom is sine x cosine x. And guess what? If cosine x and sine x are not 0, they cancel out, leaving us with x equals 2 as before. Great. So here's the question. If x equals 2, then what's x? And the answer is 2. So x equals 2. So with the second method, we used a very nice identity. If you just ignore the x on the right hand side, because that was my addition, originally the problem was something like, oh, okay, can you simplify this? Now, we can come up with a general form for this. So whenever you have something like sine a over sine b minus cosine a over cosine b. So by the way, a and b can be pretty much any angle. doesn't matter. But as long as you have this, we can do the following. Sine a cosine b minus sine b cosine a divided by sine b cosine b. And the top becomes sine of a minus b divided by sine a cosine b. I mean, in this case, we had the double angle. We were able to simplify, but it's not always going to simplify like that. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.